So this is the crane that my partner has to use to get me out of bed every morning. The black hammock that you can see there um, wraps around me, suspends me in the air and um, then plonks me into the wheelchair. Hello, any sufferers of the world or warriors or patients or whatever your preferred noun. There must be a brain surgeon or orthopaedic surgeon somewhere in the world that can get you walking again. You know, but in the meantime, there are sticks, there are frames, there are wheelchairs. Admittedly, MS sufferers in the third world not faring quite so well. You know, there's, there's uh, spasticity drugs. <laughs> yeah, there are side effects. Well, these DMDs seem promising. Admittedly, but not promising enough. But you know, there's a Disability Discrimination Act. Despite the fact that you're not very mobile, the world is trying to be more accessible. You can't help it that you're more likely drunk. Yeah, it is quite alienating looking at everybody's crutch everywhere you go. Standing wheelchairs are a bit of a thing in some parts of the world. Set you back about 30 grand, eh? Mm. Hello, Miss Amos here. Nothing more than I love than stripping you of your independence and making you totally dependent on other people wherever possible. Um... Slinging you in a wheelchair it is the obvious scenario I prefer. Um, yeah, I mean, you could always go into the home, I guess. Wouldn't let myself in that wheelchair.